Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me. And that is 2021 Panini Certified Football. Four box, random team break number nine. Um, one spot gets you two teams and all card ship. Big thanks everybody here for getting in on it. Let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. Like Sir Mix a lot. And there's all the teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams three and a one four times for names and teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. After four, we got John down to Sean. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time, Buffalo down to the Miami Dolphins. All right, John, you have the Buffalo Bills. Jared with the Arizona Football Cardinals. Nicholas with the Chargers. Mark with my Raiders. Angel with the uh, Lions. Adam with the Jags. Jared with the Chiefs. Nick L with the Bears. Adam with the Seahawks. Bill with the Steelers. Jared with the Boys. Greg with the Patriots. Angel with the Broncos. Sean with the Colts. Karen with the Washington Football Team. Jer with the uh, Giants. David with the Packers. Jer with the Texans. Greg, your other last spot mojo team, the Rams. David with the Vikings, Joe with the Jets, John with the Ravens, Joe with the Niners, John with the Panthers, Mark with the Bengals, Karen with the Eagles, Sean with the Titans, Bill with the Bucks, John with the Browns, Jared with the Falcons, Sean with the Saints and the Dolphins. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have that four-box break. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list here remains the same. We've got another four box breaks from a fresh case. So we've got another four box break up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you want to run this, uh, run another four box break back, we can definitely do it. One spot gets you two teams, and um, and if it happens to be sold out, if you're watching this video later on down the road. Just go visit jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've always got some kind of football on the website, among other sports. And we group break seven nights a week. Let's see if I can get all these boxes out here. Oh, our Raiders are looking good, Jeff. They are looking so far so good. But I've also seen good early starts from the Raiders before. So if they can keep this up, you know, across an entire season, that could, that could be a decent amount of Ws. But second half of the seasons have been a little, little rough for the Raiders. So let's select a die. Let's select that red one right there. So there's stacks of four right here. You can see it on the top camera as well. We'll go one, two, three, four on the dice roll. Five or six, we'll just roll again. Four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do that four right over here. And let's, uh, let's just mark these with some X's on box just so we know that they're all from the same case. You know, it's kind of hard to see the black against the black, but you can kind of tell right there against the reflection. Uh, this would be their second season in Las Vegas. The first season was last year, but there were no fans due to the pandemic. So first year with fans, second year in Vegas. It'll be interesting to see by the end of the year if there's any kind of what, what they call the Vegas flu when the Golden Knights first... Uh, in their first season, in their first season, their home record was pretty incredible. And a lot, some, some people attribute it to, hey, teams fly in the night before, maybe accidentally have a little, little too much fun. All right, good luck, everybody. We're looking at two autograph, two memorabilia cards per box 
on average. You know, I have a little, little extra fun, and then, oops, for some reason they're tired for the game the next day. I guess Miami is going to Vegas. I guess Miami is a fun town too. Maybe maybe the Dolphins players won't won't be affected by Vegas too much. But whatever whatever hotel that the Dolphins are staying at, I would be I would be like, well, no, you know what? They're not staying on the strip. That'd be crazy. So where would where would the Dolphins stay? Where would where do road teams stay in in Las Vegas? They wouldn't stay at like a casino. Or like a big resort casino. But maybe they are, I don't know. All right. There's the very exciting Lamar Jackson right here to lead things off. And a 9 out of 75, J.K. Dobbins. Just kidding, Dobbins. And a Miles Garrett right here to 299. And our first hit is going to be a new generation relic, Ian Book, to 299. Yeah, Kevin's like, everyone's affected by Vegas. I hope so, <laughs> for my Raiders' sake. There's Miles Garrett for the Browns. He's pretty good. And I like the, the sort of street art look in these certified inserts here. They stay in Airbnb, says Randy. Imagine having to, uh, imagine having to book all those Airbnbs. Hey, Marcus Allen, autograph. Nice, speaking of the Raiders, little Raider Joe Mojo. 21 out of 30. That's going to go to Mark. Mark Rao. I randomized my Raiders. Michael M. is saying, uh, your buddy went to the Raiders opening against the Ravens and the stadium was unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Nick Jaspi, my colleague Nick, there's Demetra Felton, and his dad were actually in Vegas that weekend for a uh, for the industry. There was an industry conference that was there. There's Austin Eckler, 249, and the Ageless Brady right here, to 249. And they actually went to the game. They they were they were able to find some pretty affordable tickets in a pretty nice spot, and uh, yeah, they said it was amazing. They said it was better than SoFi. Oh, Kevin says, you're from Miami and Vegas still gets you every time? All right, so yeah, maybe maybe the Dolphins will be affected. There's Ramondre Stevenson, 245 to 249. Nice patch, nice auto. Even with that high number, you get a nice patch. That's what I love about certified. That goes to the Pats. Greg, last spot mojo, strikes again. 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Pete Steelers were affected. And they didn't have to travel. My homies, Patrick Mahomes, 67 out of 99. Certified relic going to Jared and the Chiefs. I wonder what the, what's, what's the line on the Raiders game? There's Aziz Ojolari. To 149 for the New York Football Giants, and then we've got a Owusu Koromoa Jeremiah right here to 299. That's for the Browns. That'll be for John. And a nice Joe Burrow 2021 edition. And that street art look, second year Joe Burrow going to Mark. You know, I haven't, uh, I've driven by the stadium a number of times, Kevin. I've actually not been inside the stadium since it's opened. Definitely have to make a trip out there sometime this fall. Um, but, but yeah, Nick and, 
Nick and his dad were saying that it was pretty, pretty incredible. When they were discussing the concept of a legion, I heard a room they wanted to create the ability to bet on various plays in real time from their seats. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think so. But I feel like there has to be, some casinos must have uh, mobile wagering apps where you can, uh, where you can do uh, play by play sort of, uh, you can do in-game wagering, which is, which is growing in popularity. I think, I heard that too, I wanna say I heard something like that, but I think they were more talking about like making sure like the infrastructure, like the Wi-Fi there, to make sure that infrastructure was strong enough to be able to do that eventually. Whether it's from an official provider like MGM or Caesars or any of the major sports books that are there whether it's a partnership through them or whether it's something that the Raiders will actually have in their own app for. I, am, I, would, I would guess that they would have like a partnership. They'd be like, you know, Caesars, the official odds provider of, you know, of the Las Vegas Raiders featuring in-game mobile wagering. You know, yeah, you can bet on every play. There used to be, uh, some of you may remember, there used to be old bar, an old bar game where you would get like a, like a little pod that would actually be about the size of the certified box. Anyone remember this? And there'd be like a little TV at the bar and then you'd be able to press like, it's gonna be a run left. And it'd be like arrows right here, run left and pass right or something like that. But yeah, eventually that, 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 can, be, that can be possible. There's Tyler Vaughn, 99. And we got a Frank Gore, uh, Stat Smashers, that is. I like that insert. But yeah, once that once that uh, that in-game wagering technology becomes available, it's going to be just another way to experience the game there. Here's Mac Jones autograph, two-color patch and auto, one hundred six out of one forty-nine. Patriots, Greg, last spot mojo. And we got a Des Fitzpatrick, new generation relic to 249. Tennessee, that'll be for Sean. Sean A. There's Nick Chubb to 249. DK Metcalf. And 2-2 Atwell to 399. Got a pink parallel here, Justin Herbert to 199 for the Bolts. There's Justin Jefferson to 75. And we got a Jacob Harris, new generation relic, 12 out of 199 for the Rams. It's Greg with the Rams. Both of Greg's last spot mojo teams hitting. One spot gets you two teams. Next four box break in the store if you want to go for that. There's a nice Miles Sanders right here. Kevin doesn't think that any franchise will live up to the Raider Stadium and amenities. It's only going to get better and better as technology and investors catch up. Yeah, absolutely. Nine out of twenty, and we the team, the Jaspies team, we had a team outing at uh, SoFi um, on Sunday to watch Dallas at the Chargers. And again, Nick, Nick and his dad recently had recently experienced the Allegiant. And they were like, Allegiant blows SoFi out of the water just in terms of just, just being able to get in and out. Um, just the customer service that was there, I think the service level they said was, uh, was huge. Like every person they, every like employee they talked to knew exactly where everything was. At SoFi, you know, we were trying to get to, because we had, we had, uh, the company had picked up a suite for the team to watch the game. And 
we had a hell of a time trying to find it and no one like every employee we asked was didn't know where it was and pointed us in four different directions and so um but they said that, that at Allegiant, that experience was the complete opposite. Everyone knew where everything was. Um, and a lot of stuff was more, a little more football focused, I want to say. The huge, um, they have the Oculus, right, at, at SoFi, that huge round video board thing that's at the, sort of the top of the dome. And that was almost distracting in a way. I don't think the Raiders stadium has anything like that. I think they have a huge video boards on like the sides of the stadium. Maybe a smaller thing in the middle. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of like the construction videos of that stadium and it's it's pretty incredible and I think I think with Vegas being such a service, you know, industry sort of town, right? That's why I think that customer service, I don't know why that Jalen Davis is turned around. And customer service and having knowledgeable staff at this at the stadium, I think, was one of their top priorities at Allegiant. Here's Jonathan Taylor for the Blue Horseshoes. So yeah, I think the level of service there, I think, is going to be something that's that's very like Vegas hotel-y, You know what I mean? There's Pat Fryermuth, 007 to 299. Looks like he's going to be a pretty good player in the league for Pittsburgh. That's for Bill and the Steelers. And Justin Fields getting his first start. It's a nice one for the Bears. Nick L. with Chicago. I mean, once he starts, is Andy Dahl never getting his job back? Especially if he's done decently? I don't think so. So, hey, I'm rooting for him. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. There's Mike Evans to 75. And we got Kellen Mond, two-color patch and autograph to 499. It's for Minnesota. That's going to be for David. Yeah, I was surprised that Allegiant, a sort of budget airline, I think, had won that bid. It was something that also surprised me. But I just, I'm looking this up right now. I think their headquarters are in Las Vegas, Kevin. So I think they wanted to 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 go with the local the local company. Because I was like, they're either from Vegas or they're based in Oakland or something like that. But apparently they have uh, they have like these really they have like flight packages going from Oakland to Vegas. Which I'm not sure would be if if that would be a fun plane ride or not a fun plane ride. Thirteen out of seventy five mirror signatures. Demir Bird. Auto for the Pats, that'll be for Greg. Zaven Collins to two forty nine. Tua to 299. Not sure what his injury status is this week. Chris Evans to 399. Bengals. Russell Wilson, Derek Carr, Devontae Parker. Last box, fourth and final. Let's see. I think the Raiders are, according to ESPN, the Raiders are minus three and a half home favorites, short home favorites. Derek Carr's questionable, huh? Interesting. He, he did take a big hit in that Pittsburgh game, but he finished the game. 
but he's listed as questionable. He should be able to play. I think Tua is also questionable, but I think he's more questionable than, than Derek Carr. I'm not sure what's going to happen if Derek Carr... He should be able to play, but if he's unable to play? I think their backup quarterback, Mariota, ended up on the IR. So he's out, like a, the short IR. I think he's out for a few weeks. I guess Nathan Peterman might be the... That would not be good. All right, fourth and final box. Another four boxes in the store if you want to check that out. There's Amari Cooper, piece of his jersey, 119 out of 299. And speaking of the Raiders, Hunter Renfro, two out of 15. Nice certified potential autograph. Third and Renfro. Turning out to be a great uh, clutch receiver, especially in those third down situations. They always seem to go to him. We got Mac Jones to 399, rookie card. For the Patriots, Greg. Sixty-eight out of ninety-nine. Tom Brady stars insert, and there's J.C. Horn to ninety-nine. J.C. Horn for Carolina, and that Brady insert goes to the Buccaneers for Bill. There's Whoop Fillior to two ninety-nine. Minnesota, David. Seventy-one out of seventy-five. Uh, that's. Peyton Turner. And we got Chuba Hubbard. Two color patch and autograph. 146 out of 149. Carolina Panthers, John. And the last little stack here. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. We got an Austin Eckler. Dual relic. 238 out of 249. That's Nick with the Chargers. Saquon Barkley to 25. McCaffrey, Kirk Cousins, and Jonathan Taylor for the Blue Horseshoes. And that is that, boys and girls. Thanks for getting in. That was four box random team break number nine. The next four box... Uh, random team break is in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's run it back. Let's do it tonight. And we'll see you for that one next time. Bye-bye.